Hello, Lord Emperor here to bring you some Mass Effect lore on the Mass Effect 1 prologue in Eden Prime. Mass Effect follows Commander Shepard, a Human Alliance naval officer. Born in 2154, Shepard had a difficult early life, but in having to overcome great challenges in the line of duty, the Commander has since shown exemplary talent and leadership ability. Currently, Shepard is the Executive Officer, so, aboard the SSV Normandy. Prologue Edit in the year 2183, a prototype Alliance warship, the SSV Normandy, travels from Earth's orbit to the mass relay at Cairn. On board Captain Anderson is in discussion with Admiral Hackett and Ambassador Donnell Ludina concerning Commander Shepard's worthiness to become the first human specter, an elite agent for the Citadel Council. Meanwhile, the ship and crew are heading to Eden Prime and the Utopia system for their shakedown mission. Shepard heads to the bridge where Joker, the pilot guides the ship into the mass relay. Because of the presence of Neelis Creek, a Turian specter sent by the Council to observe, and the famed Captain Anderson, several members of the crew think their true purpose at Eden Prime is far more important than a simple shakedown run. After making the jump, Captain Anderson asks Shepard to come to the com room for a briefing. Neelis has time to speak to Shepard before Anderson joins them. Together they inform the commander that a Prothean beacon has been discovered on Eden Prime. Prothean technology has an unscientific value, but since Eden Prime is close to the Terminus systems, the beacon is at risk from pirates and mercenary bands. This is the Normandy's true objective, recover the beacon. This mission will also be Neela's chance to observe Shepard in action, the first of several they will undertake together to assess Shepard's candidacy for the Spectres. The briefing is interrupted by transmission from Eden Prime that Joker patches through. The footage shows Alliance soldiers fighting on the surface, under heavy fire and requesting reinforcements. As Shepard, Anderson and Neelis watch, they see a huge dreadnought hanging over the surface. Anderson orders Shepard to get ready this is going to be worse than they thought. Eden Prime Edit Eden Prime a beacon explode as the Normandy touches down on Eden Prime, CPL. Richard L. Jenkins, Lieutenant Kaidan Alenko and Commander Shepard prepare to head down to the planet. Neelis goes on ahead of the team intending to scout the situation. In the first few minutes on the surface, Geth assault drones appear without warning and cut down Jenkins. Shepard and Alenko continue towards the dig site, discovering one of the few surviving Marines, Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who is being chased by Geth troopers. Shepard and Alenko help her fight them off. Williams can't explain why the Geth are here, but they've wiped out her whole unit. Williams leads them to the dig site but the beacon has been moved to the spaceport. While they examine the nearby camp, the squad run into a group of husks. Human corpse is reanimated by the Geth, which they manage to kill. Shaken, they continue towards the spaceport where Neelis agreed to meet with them. Meanwhile, Neelis is surprised to see Serene Arterias, a fellow Spectre, at the train platform. Serene tells Neelis he's got everything under control, but when Neelis turns his back, Serene kills him and leaves, ordering the Geth to destroy the colony with explosives. He approaches the Prothean beacon, which reacts by lifting him off the ground. After finding Neela's body, Shepard's team continues to the tram area where they defeat the last of the Geth and disarm their demolition charges. Shepard sees the beacon and calls the Normandy while Alenko and Williams take a look at it. One of them gets too close and is caught in some sort of field Shepard intervenes but is caught in the field instead pulled off the ground as Sir Ian was. The commander suffers a horrific vision synthetics waging a terrible war before the beacon explodes and Shepard is thrown to the ground, unconscious. That all for today. See you guys later.